Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss another question and the question is related to green revolution. So it is the green revolution has increased food production but it created various environmental problems explain. So there are two parts of question. First part is saying that even though green revolution increased food grain production it has created various problems that we need to discuss. Plus, the question is specific about environmental problems only. So, we need to address only that dimension. Rest of the problems are not being asked. So, first thing first, we need to uh, make a framework or outline for the question. So, first part is going to be introduction. Second part or body need to cover two dimension. First, slightly we need to cover that yes, it has increased production increased production and then we have to focus on environmental issues environmental issues and then we have to cover the conclusion so this is going to be the structure of our answer now as far as uh, introduction is concerned it is very simple because the question is directly related to green revolution so you can write it down in introduction that what is green revolution so in simplest sense uh, let me briefly explain that uh, before independence that means during britishers jamidars were the main owners of land that means they the land was under the control of jamidars and that is why the investment in agriculture was very limited because of limited investment the production was very low so, low production was there, low production, why production was low? Because of low investment in agriculture, low investment in agriculture, okay. Now, because of low production, food scarcity was there, food scarcity, scarcity means it was not sufficient to fulfill the need of our population of our entire population it was not sufficient enough so that is why there was food scarcity on the other hand food security refers to the fact that we have surplus amount of food to address the needs of our current population so after independence after independence government of india focused on increasing area under agriculture area under agriculture so that we can increase our production so if we are going to increase our area our overall production will also increase so that was the initial intention now this approach has two major problems first and foremost the area is limited and our population was increasing so that was first issue second issue was that after independence specifically after 1956 policy the government also focused on industrialization and for that the land was diverted from agriculture to industries land was diverted therefore this area approach was not a long term solution that means every year we can not increase area as the land is limited so second thing that we need to do, need to focus on is our productivity productivity and this productivity aspect was handled through green revolution this was handled through green revolution now this year the green revolution aspect is very much important because uh, dr m s swaminathan who is considered as father of green revolution in india passed away recently that is why his contribution is quite significant from exam perspective so now coming back to address this productivity the green revolution was launched so this is the brief background you need not to write down this entire background in the question but uh, you should have a fair understanding that why green revolution was required it was required because uh, our dependency was there on imports import dependency was there because our our domestic production our domestic production was not sufficient enough to address the local requirements now coming back to green revolution so in simplest sense green revolution focused on high yield variety of seeds 
high yield variety of seeds high yield variety means the production is going to be quite high second is chemical fertilizers chemical fertilizers third is irrigation apart from that the green revolution also promoted mechanization of agriculture mechanization of agriculture mechanization means increasing use of machinery increasing use of machinery in agriculture so these were the core uh, dimensions of green revolution in india the initial focus of green revolution was on wheat crop because our goal was to produce sufficient amount of food that can address the need of our total population so that why that is why initial focus was on wheat crop so initially it was focused on wheat focused on wheat so this is sufficient for our introduction this part or this much information is sufficient for our introduction now depending on circumstances uh, since now even short answer questions are also asked depending on circumstances you can change your introduction that means you can change the length of your introduction so if uh, there is long answer then you obviously have a much freedom to write more words but if it is a short answer question then you need to uh, complete your introduction within two three lines okay so this is introduction now coming back to the question so the question says that it has increased production so we need to address it slightly that yes because of the combined impact of high yield variety of seeds because of chemical fertilizers because of irrigation the production increased and therefore over a period of time india became self sufficient apart from that because of irrigation because of irrigation the two cropping system or two crop system was widely followed two crop system was widely followed that means since irrigation was always available that is why farmers started cultivating at least two crop in a year okay so over a period of time green revolution increased our production so production increased this helped in reducing our import dependency import dependency was reduced dependency was reduced over a period of time india became self sufficient self sufficient self sufficient in food production in food production food production the initial focus was on wheat so wheat became a uh, surplus in our country that means the production of wheat was quite good enough and the initial phase of green revolution was successful in punjab haryana and western up to encourage farmers to encourage farmers to grow more and more food crops the government also announced msp what is msp that is minimum support price okay so far we have covered that yes the production has increased but the real question starts now that it has created environmental problems that we need to address so third part or the most important part is environmental problems environmental problems because of green revolution now see first and foremost gr and environment so because of green revolution the area under agriculture was also increased because now our focus was on increasing overall production so that is why the area was increased area increased and in order to increase area forest were forest were cleared or in simplest say 
in simplest sense, uh, we can write it down as a deforestation. And because of that, because of that, there was adverse impact on rainfall also. So, first and foremost, environmental impact will be on rainfall. Okay, that is first dimension. Second dimension is going to be, since green revolution was based on use of high yield variety of seeds, that is why it adversely impacted our crop diversity. Crop diversity means previously farmers used to cultivate different different varieties of same crop, for example, different different varieties of wheat. Now, since the high yield variety was very good in overall production, that is why farmers left other varieties and they started focusing on high yield varieties only. So, in a sense, in a sense, it threatened the crop diversification, crop diversification. As farmers focus on, focus on few crops only, few crops and few varieties only. For example, uh, even though even though Punjab is not suitable for the cultivation of rice, but because of the impact of green revolution, rice is being cultivated in Punjab. In fact, it is one of the uh, leading exporter of rice as far as states are concerned. So, that itself shows that green revolution promoted the uh, production of those crops which were required at that point of time. Apart from that, it also promoted the use of water intensive crops water intensive crops. Now, since water intensive crops are being cultivated over a period of time, it will lead to groundwater exploitation, groundwater exploitation. Apart from that, it will also lead to degradation of water table, that means water table is going down. Why water table is going down? Because people are extracting too much water. For what purpose? For agriculture and to be specific for the impact of green revolution. That means in order to take the benefit of green revolution. So, they started extracting too much water. So, water table will go down. Okay. Apart from that, apart from that, since water intensive crops were being cultivated over a period of time due to green revolution, India became surplus in these food crops that means in case of rice, wheat and that is why India started exporting it. However, even though we do not have sufficient amount of water resources, we are exporting those crops which require high amount of water and we are importing those crops which require less amount of water. So, in essence, India is net water net water exporter and this water is being termed as virtual water, virtual water. So, let me briefly explain this concept of virtual water, virtual water. It simply means we are exporting, exporting those crops which require too much water or in a simpler sense water intensive crops, water intensive crops. On the other hand, we are importing, importing less water intensive crops. Less water intensive crops. So, for example, India has exported 1 kg rice. Let us uh, assume a scenario, India exported 1 kg of rice. Now, the rice or 1 kg rice is visible. But the water that was required for that rice is not visible. That is why it is being termed as virtual water. That means it does not, it is not visible, it is not tangible, but water was consumed for the cultivation of that 1 kg rice. That is why it is virtual water. So, in a sense, uh, India is having roughly 17 percent population, population and roughly 4 percent of water resources. So, kind of, kind of we are wasting our water resources even though we have limited amount of water. So, that will lead to water scarcity also, water scarcity. Apart from that, 
because green revolution promoted chemical fertilizers chemical fertilizers so because of this chemical fertilizer a there is a water water contamination or water pollution apart from that apart from this uh, chemical and water pollution it will also lead to degradation in soil quality because of excessive use of chemicals so because of chemicals soil quality will degrade soil quality will degrade or decline additionally we can also cover the dimension of air pollution because of chemical fertilizers air pollution is also there air pollution now this air pollution is also because of mechanization we we have already covered that how green revolution promoted mechanization because of this mechanization that means because of these machineries the emission of greenhouse gases increased so emission of greenhouse gases increased and that is why that is why air pollution also increased now because of this mechanization that means because of use of machinery there is another problem that is of stubble burning stubble burning means because of machine the harvesting is done through machines therefore there is a crop residue that means the roots or uh, the upper part of the crop is left so that is why farmers try to clear their entire field by using fire and this leads to stubble burning stubble means the remaining or crop residue so it is being burnt and that is why it is leading to air pollution in fact if you notice right now in november december the problem of air pollution is quite severe in north india to be specific in uh, areas of delhi haryana and in punjab so that is why the mechanization is also leading to stubble burning stubble burning now apart from that apart from this the green revolution also promoted repetitive cropping pattern repetitive cropping pattern because farmers are cultivating only those crops which have high production and that high production is a result of use of high yield variety of seeds and those high yield variety of seeds are the by product of green revolution so because of this the cropping pattern is repetitive cropping pattern cropping pattern so these are these are some of the some of the issues related to green revolution that means some of the environmental related issues that uh, it it will lead to soil pollution it will lead to water pollution it will lead to air pollution it will lead to export of uh, virtual water it will also lead to a, a degradation of soil quality the water table will go down because of green revolution area was increased and that led to deforestation therefore it adversely impacted overall rainfall so these are some of the some of the environmental related issues which is a product of green revolution or a by product of green revolution okay so the second part or the body part is now covered now moving to the conclusion part conclusion so in conclusion we need to address a few of the dimensions a yes green revolution increased the use of chemical fertilizers that is why we need to focus on organic farming what is organic farming organic farming means the agricultural practices without use of chemical fertilizers without chemical fertilizers apart from that the government has also launched pm pranam scheme pm pranam pm pranam scheme has been announced and this has been announced to reduce our dependency on chemical fertilizers so to reduce dependency on chemical fertilizers
Apart from that, there was issue of water intensive crops, water intensive crops. So, in order to address this, government is promoting those crops which does not require too much water, that is millets. So, to address this issue, the government is promoting millets. In fact, 2023 is declared as International Year of Millets and that has been done on the recommendation of India. So, this is how you can conclude our entire answer that yes, green revolution was required at that point of time to reduce our dependency. But now we need to tackle the consequences of green revolution. That means we need to tackle the adverse impact or bad impact of green revolution on our environment. That can be done using the promotion of sustainable agriculture. Sustainable agriculture or climate smart agriculture climate smart agriculture because a significant portion of our population be it at national level be it uh, in case of Bihar significant population is still dependent on agriculture that is why we need to focus on that dimension so this is how you can conclude this answer thank you and that's all for the day